Hey everyone, how you doing? Michael here, just in the gym, training hard. Nice and quiet by myself, which is what I like. Got a nice little book here. The Chimp Paradox. The Mind Management Program for Confidence, Success and Happiness. Well, confidence I have. I'm a very confident man. Success, I need some success, sucky. <laughs> Lost my last fight. And happiness, got plenty of happiness. Do you, do you sabotage your own happiness and success? Happiness, no. Success, yes, because I don't train hard enough. Are you struggling to make sense of yourself? Yeah, probably. You know, I'm a boxer who doesn't train as hard as he should. <laughs> do your emotions sometimes dictate your life? No, I'm not an emotional person, so it should be a good book. I look forward to reading that. What other books? Where's my other book? Here you go, my favourite sort of the death of Caesar when they assassinate the guy. Got another book here, Brutal Artistry, Great Fighters and Great Fights. That's a photo of the first Muhammad Ali, Henry Cooper fight. I know Ali was known as, the first fight he was known as Cassius Clay, but if he wants to be known as Muhammad Ali, I'm going to call him Muhammad Ali. So yeah, just in the gym, training hard. So yeah, things are going well. Got a fight this Saturday, which I'm really looking forward to. I got a fight on Saturday. I got a fight on October 23rd. I got, if it wasn't for that, and I am getting paid for both fights, if it wasn't for that, I'd, I'd probably have left for Eritrea by now. But the UK government have recently announced the they're, they're sort of ending the the red zone restrictions, the flight restrictions. I think you still have to pay for a COVID test before you go. I still think you have to get the, what is it they call it? The wave COVID flow test, whatever you call it. But I think that's only 60 pound, that's not a problem. I can pay for that. But then coming back and paying over 2000 pounds, I mean, that's a lot of money. So I, yeah. So it looks like I'm gonna go to Eritrea quite soon. I guarantee you, I'll probably leave for Eritrea. I'm fighting on October 23rd. Yeah, I'll probably go in November at the latest, probably first week of November. Or I hope I want to leave by the end of the month. Yeah, probably leave by the end of the month. I might, you know what, let me just, I might even book the flight sort of the day after my fight. Then, you know, book a flight to get to East Africa. So that's the plan. There's a boxing press conference happening this week. I'm probably not going to be there. I, I just can't be bothered. I don't really care. The one in Newcastle, the Savannah Marshall show, Chris Eubank. Do I really care? Am I going to go all the way to Newcastle? I'm not really that fast. Yeah, I'm probably not going to go. I mean, it's not impossible. I might change my mind last minute, but I only go to press conferences because I want to spar fighters. And for me to spar them, if I go to press conferences and get to know them, then I can sort of ask them, can I come to your gym? That's the only reason I go. I mean, I'm, you know, interviewing fighters isn't really that interesting. I interviewed Roy Jones Jr. recently. I mean, it was a, it was great to meet him, but yeah, it's just, it's boring, you know. But look, let me, let me go to Eritrea. When I go there, I can meet the sports commission, get my name on paper. Once I get them to write down, you know, Michael's a boxer who's going to represent us in the qualifiers. Then literally I can just start going to, I can start representing them in amateur competitions, you know, and just, you know, prove, prove I'm being serious. Uh, yeah, that's the plan. I'm not really going to make it a long video, but that's just my focus. Go to Eritrea. Anything else, anything else I want to add? My last opponent, the one that beat me, if you go to Facebook, you can find him on Facebook. His name is Colossus, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S, -S -S Colossus, C-O-L-O-S-S-U-S. -S -S and you have to do that triple, Colossus, 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 and you find him on Facebook. Him and me are friends on Facebook, so I've, you know, uh, yeah, I really respect the guy, no excuses. But if you look at his Facebook page, the guy's had a lot of fights. I mean, I was told, I did know, I knew what I was getting myself into. But listen, the guy's a bare-knuckle fighter as well. He has boxing fights, he has bare-knuckle fights. 
He's won belts in different sports, in different combat sports. So I was, I was taking on a much more experienced opponent. I knew, I knew that it was the case, but I did it willingly. And, you know, getting the 10 pounds as well was, you know, <laughs> so not 10 pounds, sorry, uh, 250 pound. But what happened, the promoter paid me 240 pound cash, then the other 10 pound, he, he, he's going to bank transfer it. So I, I forgot to message it. He said, he said, tell me, he said, give him, give him my bank details. He'll send me the other ten quid. So yeah, the two hundred fifty. But I wasn't. I promise, I wasn't doing it for the money. I'm just being honest. When I mentioned the money, I just thought like, I can beat the guy. I saw footage of him, but just yeah, trying to fight a man of that size. He just he punched too hard. So well done. You know, I wish him well. I look forward to talking with him in future. And yeah, that's that's the plan. That's the plan. That's the plan. Yeah, that's the plan. I keep saying that's the plan. So I really want to go to Eritrea ASAP as soon as possible. That's the plan. So take care, everyone. Thanks for watching. Talk to you soon. Look after yourself. Oh, and if there's any Eritrea, does anybody know anything about my country? I'm from Eritrea. But as I say, I just, I don't really want to talk about boxing all the time. Do you know anything about Eritrea? It's a beautiful country, great to visit. You know, the politics are not so nice and the economy is not the best. But obviously, if you're going there on holiday and you've got money to exchange, you'll be fine. But hopefully things get better there soon. So that's the plan. Going to Eritrea ASAP. Take care, everyone. Talk to you soon.